However, King Bad, you're the subject of a brand new movie, which is really what I'm thinking of in the Bible right now. So thank you so much for coming. How are you doing today? I hope you're doing wonderful. Ballard, Tim Agent of Homeland Security Hollywood, can't get enough drama right now. And the focus is on Mel Gibson's latest contentious picture, Sound of Freedom. Guess who's at the center of it? None other than the charismatic Dwayne Johnson, or as we all know him, the stone the former wrestler turned actor has reportedly chosen to reveal some top secret information. The entertainment industry's A-listers are shrouded in secrecy. Mel Gibson's audacious foray into Hollywood has shocked everyone by exposing some murky activities involving the industry's elitist in a cynical. I find it weird to refer to a film about human trafficking as a comedy. An anonymous thriller, this entire article downplays the very real threat of human trafficking. And at the very end they basically say, We have other problems to worry about, so we shouldn't worry about this one. It's not really a problem, even though 27 million, over 27 million people, are being trafficked at any given time globally. And for any publication to try to portray this as a far-right fear, and fear-mongering is just insane to me even in this day and age. With this controversy taking center stage, it seems like Tinseltown is in for a bumpy ride. Who knew that The Rock would be the one shaking things up? Such a raw and unfiltered truth is a rare sight on the big screen, especially when it involves pointing fingers at the influential players behind the scenes. The gossip mill is buzzing with speculation about the juicy details Dwayne Johnson might have in store for us. As the pot develops, the Hollywood elite, we can only speculate about the bombshells and backroom transactions that will be uncovered. The whispers and rumors have reached a crescendo, and Hollywood heavyweights aren't holding back. Shock and denial are just a few of the emotions on display, as it becomes clear that these implications run deep and may be grounded in reality. The atmosphere is tense as the industry's elite rush to defend their reputations and dismiss the claims made in the film as mere rumors, but the ripple effect is undeniable as more and more celebrities find themselves in the spotlight. The Sound of Freedom controversy is nothing short of a Hollywood roller coaster, and it represents an independent film's incredible victory over big budget productions. This movie is not just a cinematic spectacle. It has the power to reveal Hollywood's seediest corners and challenge viewers' fundamental assumptions about their favorite actors and the industry as a whole. Blockbusters like Indiana Jones and The Dial of Destiny during its July 4th debut in theaters had everyone talking hopefully think of in the Bible. Now Tim Ballard, Homeland Security agent, goes down, takes down, one of the worst child traffickers in history meets this little boy. I won't tell you this story what happens there. But he the little boy asked some question little boy five six years old imagine voices, will you save my sister? So he goes back talks to his wife, and essentially sells everything, and he goes and tries to find this little girl. But as with underdog story there sayers, and in this case, it's the liberal media outlets that have taken the opportunity to slam it, as a supposed few anon dog whistle, it's quite the twist, considering that in 2014 CBS News covered the real-life raid in Colombia that inspired the movie where over 50 children were rescued from evil the operation. Led by the daring and determined Tim Ballard, a former Homeland Security special agent, became the foundation of this gripping cinematic tale, Tim Ballard's choice to resign from his position as a law enforcement officer in 2013 and turn into a worldwide pedophile hunter is the stuff of legends. He deserves to be remembered for his courage and commitment to saving imprisoned children from these heinous criminals. The feeling is that, as I said before, our love for God's children has to be greater than our fear of evil, just as our love for Jesus Christ has to be greater than our fear of the cross. This is because more Christians today are more afraid of the devil than they are of God and God has the power to destroy the devil. Therefore, we must understand that God could destroy the devil. Mel Gibson, the film's director and actor, 
passes without mentioning anything specifically connected to such issues. Producer of the film and mildly unpleasant podcast presenter Elijah Schaffer's tweet has fueled speculation. Shockingly, he says before describing what the linked video is. Mel Gibson's 1998 warning about the horrors of Hollywood and how they will turn against him hinted to act as being literal demons in his song. Freedom is the real deal. The earnestness in his voice is unnerving. Schaffer noted that Mel Gibson, the film's director and star, makes no explicit references to such topics. Producer of the film and mildly unpleasant podcast presenter Elijah Schaffer's tweet has fueled speculation. Shockingly, he says before describing what the linked video is, Mel Gibson's 1998 warning about the horrors of Hollywood and how they will turn against him hinted to act as being literal demons in his song. Freedom is the real deal. The earnestness in his voice is unnerving. Schaffer said that the storm of controversy is raging and that the queen of talk herself stands right in the middle of it. Winfrey, Oprah, there are rumblings regarding Oprah's talk show and any potential ulterior motives on the internet grapevine. Rumors say that she may have attracted unwitting people with promises of fame and prosperity while holding ulterior motives, and that she may have been utilizing her powerful platform for more than simply amusement. Hollywood is now engulfed in a vortex of rumors and conjecture, with important questions looming over the shoulders of the biggest personalities in the business. With Oprah's name in the mix, the intrigue grows to a fever pitch, as there are whispers of a darker side as the rumor mill swirls. Are these celebrities actually involved in something sinister, as the whispers suggest, or is it all just wild tabloid fiction? The public is left wondering whether there is any truth to these unsettling tales, or if it is all just a smokescreen of scandal. The scandal involves not only Oprah, but also other notable figures in Hollywood, including Dwayne The Rock Johnson, who finds himself caught up in the storm of accusations. The industry's most powerful and influential people are left terrified and bewildered, unsure of what steps to take next. The shock waves of these discoveries have spread like wildfire. Dwayne The Rock Johnson has responded to these accusations with anger and astonishment, vehemently denying any involvement in such actions. However, why are these claims just now coming to light, and what are the implications behind them? Some accusers claim that his charitable endeavors are merely a front for dubious activities, alleging that he uses his charitable trips to identify potential victims in vulnerable communities. Hollywood has always been a hop of rumors and secrets, but this scandal is unlike any other because it has cast a shadow over some of the industry's most beloved stars. As investigations and rumors continue, the truth is still unknown and the fallout from these accusations could be extensive. The movie's portrayal of Tim Ballard's relentless pursuit of justice has undoubtedly brought it to public attention, but not everyone is delighted with the buzz it's generating. The movie, according to Angel Studios, is an expose of the shadowy side of international crime that has a significant influence on the struggle for freedom. Thank you so much for being here, Tim Ballard. How are you today? I hope you're doing well. It's great to have you here, because you're the subject of the upcoming film, A Sound of Freedom. But before we discuss that, I wanted to ask you how you got into the type of work you do, which is saving children from sex trafficking. It was like, that's it, terrorism is everywhere, and that's what we're going to be doing. However, some experts have questioned the movie's veracity, claiming it sensationalizes and presents an inaccurate picture of child terrorism. I went to graduate school with the intention of working in federal law enforcement to combat terrorism and weapons, and I graduated in December 2001. Many supporting characters are said to be inspired by actual trafficking victims and perpetrators encountered during Ballard's rescue missions, and the inclusion of fictionalized versions of real-life people like Tim and Catherine Ballard has drawn criticism. Critics contend that the movie depicts children being snatched and kidnapped by strangers, perpetuating the myths that most traffickers target victims they don't know 
While this can absolutely happen, it's a myth that Polaris, a company that runs the U.S. National Human Trafficking Hotline, claims in truth a lot of survivors have been victims of romantic partners, such as spouses, and by relatives, such as parents' notes by Polaris Concerns, have been raised about the movie's sensational depiction of trafficking by Aaron Albright, a lawyer with extensive experience in the anti-trafficking field. She believes that such narratives prevent the public from understanding more complex trafficking cases involving coercive control and psychological manipulation. With his captivating stories, Mel Gibson certainly knows how to captivate audiences. And Sound of Freedom is no exception. These people aren't just mere screen personas. They represent humanity's true grit and spirit. Sound of Freedom throws some serious shade, hinting at the potential involvement of these characters. This movie not only adds another feather to his already impressive cap, but also demonstrates his unwavering commitment to portraying the stories of real-life flesh and blood heroes. A whisper and rumors are flying around that this film may just be Mel Gibson's way of taking a shot at Hollywood by revealing the shadowy transactions and long-hidden truths. It's safe to say that Sound of Freedom will be more than just a movie. It might be a revealing look into the darker corners of the entertainment industry, with Sound of Freedom raising eyebrows and hinting at the potential involvement of some bigwigs in the industry Duane. Gibson's storytelling prowess takes on a new dimension with this film, adding intrigue and mystery to an already captivating narrative as the gossip mill churns, with talks of Hollywood secrets being revealed opinions about Mel Gibson's decision to expose Dwayne Johnson and other Hollywood elites are divided. Some see it as a bold move to shed light on the underbelly of the entertainment industry. Others wonder if it's all a front for something more suspicious as the controversy intensifies. Who do you believe will escape untouched and bear the repercussions of their claimed actions? Some see it as a betrayal inside the industry's inner circle, while others, and why? Do you think that way?